What's up you guys and welcome to week two of our Muay Thai tutorials. We are on, adding on to our combo this week. Yeah, <clears throat> you wanna fight me? You guys, hopefully you practiced your jab cross combo last week, got your stance down and you practiced it enough, starting to get muscle memory. So we are going to add on to our jab cross combo this week. So it's only gonna be two movements, but it's gonna be enough because Again, this is all about coordination and flow. So we don't want to overwhelm ourselves, especially if you lack some co coordination. <laughs> all right, guys, let's refresh our memory on uh, last week. We practiced doing our jab, stepping into it, and then doing our cross with our shoulder ro or our hip rotation coming across and coming back. So we're in, back, in, Back, one, two, one, two. Okay, so uh, hopefully you guys are practicing that. So we are going to add on to that this week, and so this is our hook. So we're coming in, cross, and then it's hook, and then out. Okay, so very slight movement, so we're just trying to get out of that. So if somebody comes across, <laughs> you know, here, we're wanna, woo, we're getting out of there. We hit him, we're out. <laughs> All right, so let's break down the hook and the pivot movement. So the hook here, just like we learned, we're coming in and we're extending with our uh, shoulder into our chin with our jab and then our cross, the same thing, we're coming across with that hip rotation. That gives us the power and the extension into our punch. We're doing the same kind of idea for our hook, but um, so we're keeping our hand here the whole time because when we're hooking, someone might come around with something. We don't want to get knocked in the head. So our hand is there for protection into our face. So we're here. So the hook, when we're coming around, we're keeping that arm in a hook formation. We're not extending out. We're not like, whew. It's a hook. We're nice and sturdy, nice and controlled. This is a powerhouse right here, okay? So, what we're doing though, so when we come around and hook, we're getting a slight um, hip rotation and upper body rotation into that punch. Because if you're here, you're not gonna get much power into that. But if you're here, you literally, you're gonna get a good amount of power into that hook. And the reason we step in is because when we come in, we're punch, punch, we are in, in range for this hook. Otherwise, if we didn't step in, we're literally just gonna right across the face. We're not gonna even touch the face. You're gonna miss. So that's why you wanna move in and hook at the same time. You're, so that brings you in to range for that hook. So after you throw your jab cross, you are keeping that in. You're kind of leaning into it a little bit because you're coming around. So it's like you're, you're kind of getting out of the way a little bit for if somebody's coming with their punches. And it gives you that power to hook into the face. Now, Everybody kind of has their own preference for hook. The way I learned with my coaches was you're hooking this way. So your fists are up and down. You are hitting the side of the face just like this versus here. You're actually gonna do more damage and you're gonna protect your hand, especially if you're not wearing gloves, if you're punching this way versus this way because you end up hitting just these two knuckles when you punch this way and you can break your knuckles. This way you're getting all of these knuckles right into the face. It just fits right there. Um, but that's the best way to explain it. Like not that you would just go out and hit somebody, but that's the best way to explain it is how the hand movement, how the hand placement is, the fist. Um, so your jab, your cross is at the front of the face. The hook is side. All right, so we're here. So jab, cross, hook and then so you're here and right after you hook you're actually that's this is now this is a, another tip why we are soft on our knees why we are on our toes a little bit why our heels are lifted a little bit up because after we hear we're pushing off of that leg to get out okay so you can see here we'll break down the pivot movement is if you're flat footed for any of these movements watch what happens when I try to pivot my foot stays See how it doesn't even move? You could end up hurting your knee <laughs> or pulling a muscle when you do that too. 
So that's why it's important to be a little bit on your toes and practice that movement. So, so we're here, so I'm going to pivot and I'm light off my feet. I just slide right into that movement, okay? If I wasn't, my foot stays, okay? So that is another really important tip to remember and keep practicing to be light on your feet, soft on your knees when you're doing these movements, okay? So we'll break it down again. We got jab, cross, hook, hit. Got it? So remember, staying light. Think of a spring. Sabai. Sabai. Alright, so we'll do from this motion, this direction. So we're here, hands are always up. Nice and loose, loose, loosey goosey. A little bit up on your toes. And it is jab, cross. Hook, pivot. So now you can see I'm this direction. So you can keep going. Jab, cross, hook, pivot. Okay? Now the other thing to remember is that I am keeping that shoulder width apart and that 90 degree angle the whole time. That's why it's important when you're pivoting, keep, you're keeping that same stance. You don't end up out here. You don't end up like this. You know? And, up like this. You don't end up like this. <laughs> okay? So you can, a way, good way to practice your pivots is um, have something on the floor, a uh, point, and your lead leg stays there. You should be able to pivot around keeping that foot, that lead foot, on that point. So that's a good way to practice then you can keep practicing the other direction. Um, so that's a good practicing rep repetitive if you want to learn how to pivot, especially if it's awkward for you at first, your coordination's just All right, so let's start from the beginning again. We're going jab, cross, hook, pivot. We're here, jab, cross, hook, pivot. Here, jab, cross, hook, pivot. All right, let's go a little faster, huh? How about that? All right, ready? And we go. One, two, three. 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 All right. That is going to be your combo for the week. So it's your hook and pivot. You can slow it down. Remember, one, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. So you can slow it down so you can get the practice, get the move, movements down. Um, and then as you get more comfortable, you start feeling yourself go a little bit faster. Break it up how you want, but that is your combo for the week. We got the one, two, and three. We have the jab, cross, hook, pivot. So we're getting movement into it now, guys. So you guys are gonna be, you're gonna be little ninja warriors. You're gonna just be in and out of there. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's addition, adding on to our jab cross combo. And we will be adding on to this next week. So enjoy. Be practicing. Mwah! Make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, if you uh, like these combos, these Muay Thai tutorials. I know I do. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you next week.